Hello everyone, this is White Wolf and I wanted to go live and I was feeling very strongly that this is a day of release. This is a day of being delivered. Um, also, this is just a day where you can receive a lot of emotional healing, but also a lot of the sense of just letting go. And letting go does not always mean healing, but letting go can be a very powerful thing and an empowering thing. And also it can just change the definition or the expression or how you feel at this exact moment on how you want to recalibrate and reshape your energy, but also change the narrative and the theme and the direction of your life. So usually when I talk about letting go, I talk about in the form of healing. Yes, that has something to do with it, but letting go can be transformation and can have you in those peak moments. It can have you in those most excited moments and finding those signs and confirmations and miracles on your path so that you're able to recognize the creator, not only within yourself, but to recognize the creator within everything. So understanding that letting go is really the very fact that you're not perceiving yourself in the same way that you once viewed yourself. You view your relationships or your attachments or your belief systems. So you're changing the way that you believe, you're changing the way that you spell, because every time that we speak, we have like a microphone under us all the time. So every time we say something, we are, <laughs> there are beings and guides listening and higher self is listening. So understanding like using our switch words, changing our phrasing, changing what we're putting out there, changing what we're projecting out into awareness. So letting go is not just about, you know, getting past your dark side or getting past yourself. It's really just the basic fundamentals of letting go every day is transformation. It means that there is a redeeming quality about the spiritual awakening. It means that it's so redeeming to the point where it reinforces that source of empowerment so that you're able to really continue the ongoing progression of purification, changing your filter, changing the state of the ego, changing the state of the mind and changing how it correlates to your body, but also changing the mind, body, spirit complex as it develops and changes and allows itself to be known and create. So one of the things that I was kind of feeling and as spirit was working with me and I just had a meditation where I had incredible healing just now and I was just kind of brainstorming and thinking about letting go is so much more than we think that it is and I don't think we always talk about it in the way of empowerment and motivation. So letting go of an addiction, letting go of not, you know, exercising, like you've been putting it off, you know, you want to do it, but you keep putting it off. But then you start that day to where you start that workout routine, that's letting go and it turns into transformation, which gives you momentum. I don't think a lot of people in the spiritual community talk about letting go as it drives home and reinforces momentum and movement and a sense of recalibration, a sense of balance. And I think that's what the beautiful thing is, is that so what in the morning, you wake up in the morning, maybe you're in a funk, but it doesn't mean that you're always in that funk. It's just the ability to take yourself out of it. And sometimes it's kind of like doing chores around your house. It's doing the things and having appreciation to it and having a vibrational attitude towards it because you're changing the definition and the expression of it, meaning you're changing your truth about it. That's what's beautiful about it. And I was just getting this message really quickly and I felt very nudged to get on here. Letting go is the transformation for quantum momentum, meaning that the momentum that is charged, charging the different polarities, changing positive and negative, your output and your input, condensing that in the most grounded form. So, Letting go is not just talking about healing or vanity or ego or let, releasing something that's stuck. It's really the ability to part ways with that old way of thinking, creating and perceiving and entering into a new realm altogether. So I was just getting this like quick message and I felt like I had very rapid healing in just a brief moment of just meditating. And but what was beautiful about it is that what I experienced was the very fact of how quick it can happen, but also how it wasn't an emotion, 
but it was more of joy. It was more of a release that quickly. And it felt like the spontaneous combustion of just letting go and transforming in that exact moment. So if you've never been here before, this is White Wolf. That's my opening for this live. And we're gonna do like some, maybe some healing energy or meditation as I get done with the channel message. But what was interesting is that everybody on this planet right now, we say that we're healing, we say that we're going through this, the dark night of the soul, and I, I, I do believe that. But it means that we're actually having acknowledgement. So think about that. Acknowledgement about what you're experiencing. Perfect example of someone saying that like, okay, I have a problem when I experience this said circumstance and I get triggered and it takes me back to when I was a kid. So that's their emotional guidance system kind of kicking in, letting them know like, oh my God, every time this happens, I revert back to that exact moment. Now, how do we look at that moment and how do we get to the brass tacks and kind of release it out of ourselves, but also experience it, but see the reason behind it. That's acknowledgement, that's letting go, that's actually moving on and actually quantum leaping from it, right? So it's kind of like everything that we experience is a form of healing, but most of the time it's actually a form of motivation and empowerment. Um, meaning that there is an elevation that we're experiencing. And I think that's what's powerful about like this message, but also what we're experiencing as human beings in the collective. So understanding like right here, right now, everybody is experiencing this. Everybody is going through this, but everybody is tapping into their heart finally, so that there is some form of cognizance and coherence with the way that we're experiencing life. So it's kind of understanding like sometimes when we think that our like ankle is hurting or that we feel like we're sick or that we had to deal with like an illness, a lot of that comes from past lifetimes, but also there are distortions that we learn from, that we grow through, and that the reason why we had to experience those things in terms of suffering and trauma, but also even financial struggles and stuff like that, we had to experience those things so that the letting go of it was amplifying the transformation within ourselves, the maturation within our soul. The balancing of the energies. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Sometimes I feel like when I talk, people are like, who, who does this guy think he is? Um, <laughs> but, but really, it's the ability to kind of like see like, am I holding on to something that is limiting me. And if it is limiting me, why am I holding on to it? I think the attachment of a lot of what we go through has an indication of how we view ourselves. I have so many like clients ask about like forgiveness and stuff. And I think one of the things that we have trouble with as humans is forgiving ourselves. We don't forgive ourselves. We want everybody else's validation and forgiveness. But the person that we always forget because we never give ourselves that sense of self-love and self-care and preservation and the understanding of like, sometimes we could be our own worst enemy. And sometimes we could not forgive ourselves about something that we need to let go of that happened 30 years ago. And it's kind of like the, the very same action is that letting go is not getting in the revolving door of like shadow work. The letting go is the very fact that you're acknowledging it, you're aware of it, you understand why it happened, you're understanding why the trigger presents itself or the guidance mechanism of that presents itself to you to like let you know, oh my God, I'm experiencing this for some reason, I keep going back to it. And then once you move on from it, then there's a peak moment to where there is such a heightened state of awareness because you're having kind of a, an epiphany kind of moment that you're like, okay, I got to the bottom of it. Because I'm letting go of it, I'm not attached to it. I'm not attached to how my ego thinks about it. Does that make sense? So when we let go of that, and then we get to the other side of it, then there is such clarity and realization. And there's this deep sense of self-realization that I don't think we really talk about. Um, 
but I'm all for because I used to do just healing energy. I used to just do healing energy and now I do meditations. But that's the one thing I started with because I wanted worthiness out of my path and out of my work that I do. So the one thing I can tell all of you is that we are all letting go so that we're transforming the human condition so that we're letting go of the conditioning of being unworthy, not being wealthy, thinking bad thoughts all the time, being infiltrated. Now we are trying to let go of that infiltration, right? And we're trying to penetrate what we're experiencing so that we're penetrating and that we're actually digging deep within ourselves to rediscover and realize that we are the soul that's embodying this truth. So I have so many people that like when they ask me to look into things like they have like heart problems or something like that, or if they have a block on them, um, I noticed that in my journey, there were stages where up here was good, but then, you know, down where my legs were at and other portions of my soul that needed purification and still had the blockages and still dealing with the shadow self. So I think all of us are just like operation, you know? It's a very simple example. It might seem really corny, but I think it's very direct. So like operation, you take this out of there. There's a past lifetime that has something to do with your arm or your shoulder, and you just take that and puncture it as a metaphysical surgeon, right? And sometimes your guides will do it. Sometimes your higher self will do it. Sometimes God will just move. And when God just moves, that's when the beauty happens within ourselves. So. Um, so we're kind of like playing operation, uh, when we're letting go, I know that sounds really ridiculous, but I think it's, I think it works very effectively. Um, is that yes, we're kind of playing operation with ourselves and you know, when we're not connected too much within the third eye or the causal chakra, then we're not able to really connect and be more aware and cognizant and actually come from a higher resonance. Right? So each day no matter what it is no matter if it's vanity ego a lack of faith or even lust um, each and every person is trying to let go so that they can transform and can make a big impact within their own direct experience so every experience that we've ever had has already been experienced it just hasn't happened yet so that's what the kicker is. We feel like, oh my God, this hasn't happened yet. I've been waiting for years um, you know, for this thing to happen. And maybe it takes like 10 or 20 years. And trust me, you know, in spirit, um, in my own journey sometimes when I was like, it didn't happen on my timing instead of the divine timing. So even letting go can be transformation in terms of like not allowing the divine <laughs> to do its work. So I think everybody experiences that like if we don't allow the divine to work and then we get like frustrated or we're like, whoa, what the hell, dude? Like what's going on? Uh, God, source, my guides or and how you view God is how you view God. I don't as a woman, as an extraterrestrial, it doesn't matter. It's still God. So it's kind of like that could be something that's withholding you and not allowing you to puncture and release more so that you can accumulate more. So one thing I've talked about, and if you guys have followed my work, um, law of subtraction. I think a lot of us don't talk about, we talk about attracting things in our life. We talk about attracting objects, cars, money, and stuff like that. But I don't think people talk about the law of subtraction, tr subtracting something out of your space so that you can add something within your space so that you're able to multiply upon that and build upon something so that you have momentum, meaning like, like an old habit, or maybe you're in a relationship that it just stinks and you let go of that relationship, or you're just not willing to receive and you've been putting off for two weeks and then you finally give yourself to healing. Um, maybe you're dealing with a past lifetime progression, but I do think that with subtraction, that's when we have so much of an influx of energy. Then we're able to use our energy in such a way that is very wise and very loving and very understood because we allow ourselves to like use it for the good of the earth instead of just going in our revolving door and just continuously doing shadow work all the time. But instead we make a greater impact of who we are 
by letting go and then transforming and then becoming a completely different person. So even when I was doing this message 20 minutes ago, I'm not the same person that I was when I was meditating and had that healing experience. So that's how more present that we become. And that's how more present we really realize more about ourselves. And um, we're about to do some uh, healing energy, I think, um, or a meditation. I haven't decided. My guides are kind of playing around with the idea. <laughs> so um, before we do the healing energy, um, w because I feel like the, the planet really needs it, is if you don't get anything from this live, and I've been doing this a lot, if you don't get anything from it, just understand that letting go isn't reverting back to the same person, exploring the same patterns. Letting go is helping you get out of the patterns and really transverse within your timelines, within your experiences, collapsing those negative timelines so that you're not attracting those neg negative timelines, so that you're able to develop more about your personality, more about the way that you think, and actually having belief systems that support who you really are. So that's what the point of letting go is. The letting go isn't like just reverting back and just eating Cheetos on the couch and just losing your shit. Like that's, that's not the point of doing that. If you need to do that for a little bit, that's fine. There's no judgment. And also uh, one last thing before we do the healing energy is judging ourselves. There's no need to judge ourselves. There's no need to be pessimistic towards ourselves. Judging ourselves and beating ourselves up over stuff we cannot control is a Mike Tyson one rounder. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It, it's, it's a fight that you're never going to win. It's just, you're always gonna feel like you're back against the ropes. Instead, just um, compliment yourself, think differently, um, do a different routine, find something that brings focus, and don't be afraid to embrace the challenge and embrace being pulled out of the comfort zone and maintaining the stretching zone. So my guides have finally uh, decided that healing energy is the course of action. I've been doing it a lot more lately because I feel like the planet needs it. So this is White Wolf. I also have private sessions as well if you want to partake in that. One hour for $50, an hour and 30 minutes for 100 and 150 for two hours for private sessions. Text me, email me on TikTok and text me on TikTok. And eight or nine o'clock, I'm going to be doing readings tonight, p.m. Eastern. Uh, doing readings, healings, activations. So we're gonna do the Kundalini energy and we're just gonna have a lot of release of self-doubt, self-judgment, and allowing ourselves to develop belief systems that correlate to the emotional guidance system, which is giving us cognizance and awareness. So in this moment, we're allowing ourselves to acknowledge our issues, addressing them, not running away from them, not spiritually bypassing, but just being aware and being open towards the healing of the soul. So you're going to feel quick release, quick healing, and then rejuvenation. And we're also going to target emotional trauma, childhood trauma, no, what, no matter what happened to you in your life, target that and allow yourself to let go of the old emotions that are attached to that to let go of stale relationships that you experienced. And every time that you could not even love yourself, love yourself in this moment and allow yourself to be delivered from that and allow yourself to gather your will and your perception. What that is gonna do is that it's going to be a purified release and it's just a simple push of that energy. So, when you feel into this healing energy, 
what will be released is the fact that you're letting go, the fact that you know it, the fact that you're changing your patterns and you're changing the way that you live about your life. And you're just grounding deep within Middle Mother Gaia Earth and just coming back into balance and in sync with yourself. And right now in this moment, we are going to be accepting the higher self. So just say, I accept my higher self's wisdom and grace. So we have a lot of frequencies and downloads and light codes coming in from the 12th dimension, the angelic realms, and also the Galactic Federation of Light is helping us with that with different thought forms, different ways of creation and manifestation, but also allowing us to detox ourselves and release the energies that need to be released. And the Black Panther energy is coming in very strongly. So if you have ayahuasca in your system already, or if you just wanna feel the energy of that, the Black Panther energy is coming in very strongly and helping us just release any tension within the soul. So it could be your throat chakras, it could be your third eye, removing the blockages, removing everything and just letting go and purifying the sense of self. And we're gonna receive a heart activation from the Apostle Paul and a green ray of healing energy just accessing all of the chakras and our galactic chakras and making sure that we have a protection grid around us so just armor, implementing psychic protection. Archangel Zadkiel and gold violet flame dragons have a flame around us of protection protocols. And now we find the inseparability and the separation of the illusion. Losing all of attachments, losing possession, losing justification of right and wrong. And in this moment, just feeling into that power of that release. And then when you subtract more out of your space, you're creating space so that you create differently. So now that we're creating differently, we have the ability to add and change the causes and effects within our lives. So change the way that your life is being manifested for yourself and also the way that you're experiencing it, but also the way that you're attracting it within your space. So now you're just experiencing a different plane of existence and just allowing yourself to be open towards that, being open towards that existence, being open that understanding that you can change within this exact moment and be that power of existence. And just allow yourself to love yourself in this moment. Love yourself even if you can't love yourself. Forgive what seems unforgivable, but also just to live a new life with no baggage, no trauma, no limiting beliefs, but changing the polarity and the momentum and changing your output and your input. And just tap into that electromagnetic kinetic source energy and just feel the power sourcing through. And when you allow yourself the ability to let go, that means you are moving on, that you are past it, and that you're not holding a grudge. You're not holding on to baggage or burdens, but you're having allowance for the divine to move on your behalf. 
So just allow the divine to work for you. And when this application is applied, the ability to change, not to think about changing, not to think about wanting to change, but just making yourself do it, being motivated to do it, and just embracing the challenge of it. Because it's presenting variety for yourself. And just allow yourself in this moment to transform, to become, to emulate, and to dedicate yourself to something greater than yourself. That's the service to the others. The very fact that you let go is that you transform here and now, no matter what. And you feel that power, that grace, that ability to not give up on yourself, to not give up on source, to not give up on life. And when you have that much faith in yourself, that means the power is always presently there. And you're just puncturing through the walls, through the doorways, finding that needle in a haystack, and being able to just pull it out whenever you need it. To be a living, breathing vortex is means that you are the creation that you're seeking within yourself. That means everything inside of your vortex has already been created and experienced simultaneously. And in these final moments, what we're going to do is just experience past, future, present, fully realized as that I am presence, as the oracle of love, light, and wisdom. Know yourself in this moment. So everybody take a deep breath. snap my fingers, you'll come back to, you'll have a greater sense of clarity, you will know who you are, and you'll become the oracle of love, light, and wisdom, which is God manifested in human form. And so it is. So, I felt like the healing energy was needed. I've been doing it a lot more lately because I feel like, I feel like everybody needs healing on this planet. I feel like people kind of feel lost. And I just feel like people are kind of, you know, feeling the mystery of life. You know, not knowing where to go, not knowing where to get guidance. And that's why I feel so strongly. And that's why I've been doing the healing energies a lot more because when we allow ourselves to let go and heal, we allow ourselves to transform. And when we help transform others, it makes us feel much better. So thank you guys so much for partaking in this live. And thank you. I thank you. Thank you for sharing. I love it when you guys share and tell me like, oh, like I was feeling a tingling sensation. If you're being called to do it, I hope that you follow through on it. Don't, you'll never regret it, I promise. Um, also, guys, I have private sessions that you can book. I have one-hour sessions for $50. I have a $50 special, but I extended it for an hour and 30 minutes for $100 and $150 for two hours. And 8, 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be going live doing readings and healings. Text me on my TikToks. Also, email me if you need to. Um, so one of the last things um, I'll say, and if you guys have to go, that's fine. Um, don't forget that the greatest moments in your peak moments and your most like moments where you feel like you're at your last bit, it means that you're just cleansing everything. 
so that you reach the end of yourself so that you're able to ascend and accept the higher self, your highest timeline, you know, because a lot of us, we have to let go of things in order to experience things. I mean, I don't think I would be doing the things that I'm doing now four years ago if I didn't um, have someone come into my life, but also uh, seek myself, but also ex have the amazing experiences that I had and um, just really having that grace and anointing, but also just my own work ethic with it and just staying with it. Even if you feel like you think that it's insignificant, but you don't know how significant it is to another person. Another person could be watching it and they could literally like break their addiction or they could literally get their life back on track because of the very fact that you shared. Or somebody like wants to exercise or someone's like, oh wow, if he can do it, I can do it. And that's one of the things I wanted to say. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm not more special than you. I'm just a guy in a red hat and a, and a button up t-shirt wearing jeans and sandals with no socks. I would have never done that four years ago. Just saying. Um, because I'm awakened and you know, when you wear stuff, you wanna feel comfortable. But I would have never done that four years ago. I would have laughed at it. Um, but we change as we awaken. We become a different person. And choose to express yourself how you wanna express yourself. Your authentic expression is your authentic expression. And it doesn't matter what people online think, society thinks, your friends, family, anybody on this platform thinks. Just fuck it and express yourself. That's how I feel. That's just what I do. And you'll never regret it. I, I, I promise you guys, you'll never regret it. So, thank you guys for your time. Thank you for receiving. And I'll be going live later, 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern, doing live readings. And I'll also uh, do private sessions. So text me, uh, email me if you want to book a private session. Uh, this is White Wolf. I want to thank you guys. God bless and namaste.